And welcome to Nerdstalker. I am Adolfo Fronda at Nerdstalker on Twitter, Nerdstalker.com, Nerdstalker TV on YouTube, all the places. Make sure to subscribe on uh, YouTube and hit that little bell so that you're notified. So today I'm going to talk about subscription software alternatives or cheaper software alternatives, if you will. So first I want to talk about things like screen capture. So in all honesty, right now I am using the big daddy of them all, which is ScreenFlow. Right, and ScreenFlow is no joke. It's expensive and it's $129. And it's, it's really the gold standard in, in screen caption. I really couldn't recommend anything else unless you don't need to be doing all the fancy zooming in and, and this and that. Also prices, FYI, are as of this recording. They may have changed. Another wonderful, wonderful sort of alternative if you're not doing really fancy stuff is Loom. Loom is a Chrome extension which displays right here, and it's free. So what it does is it'll record your, your screen, yourself, or your camera, your audio, and it's, it's wonderful, it's really great. There's no really zooming in type of feature like uh, ScreenFlow has. Uh, limited editing, you can do some basic trimming. It's a, it's a very lightweight version, but if you just wanna do some basic screen capture, it's excellent. I've used this for troubleshooting, for working with user experience type of stuff, uh, with uh, clients and things like that. It's really wonderful, and I highly recommend it. I'll, I'll add a link to it, hopefully, from a, uh, a review I did, a demo of it. Now, text expansion is another sort of big type of thing, right? So in the expensive department, you have something like text expander which is sort of, again, the gold standard, if you will, for subscription. Text Expander is $3.33 per month, which is $40 per year, roughly, give or take. And there's also a team version, which is this price as of now, which is $8 uh, per user per month billed annually, or they do also have a monthly billing for your individual user. It's like $4.16, so you do the math annually, that adds up, right? I don't think that includes your iOS and that type of stuff too but go check for yourself. Another great alternative, a non-subscription type of alternative is Phrase Express. So Phrase Express for the Mac, and I'm gonna primarily focus on the Mac because I'm a Mac user and most of uh, the people I know are Mac users. But what's awesome about Phrase Express too is that there's a really powerful, in fact, I would say even more powerful version for Windows, but the, Phra the Phrase Express for Mac is super, super powerful as well. Um, here's the standard version and a professional version. You're probably going to want the professional version, depending if you do like you know macro functions and and SQL Server if you need SQL Server support. Uh, support. Uh, now you can buy the software outright, so there is no subscription. So you can either get it for this basically twenty five bucks or this fifty buck option. And it says one year maintenance that includes all upgrades and updates and things like that uh, for the year. Or you can go up and up and up. Obviously, in your pri your price changes. Uh, but really, if you buy one year and it works, you're kind of kind of good to go for quite some time. And it's super powerful. So I would definitely consider Phrase Express as an alternative to Text Expander if you're looking to get away from the subscription model and you just want to own a piece of software. Another alternative for a text expansion option is Atext. Atext is only five bucks or $4.99, right? So here you go. Atext is by uh, Tranky Nam. I have a full review and demo of uh, Atext as well. Uh, I will add another link to it up above. Really powerful. You can do form type of stuff. You can't get too deep into macros and things like that, but uh, it is really good for five dollars. Uh, I would almost say buy this one first. See if it does it for you. If you want to get a little more elaborate. Look into the other ones. Now realize there are other type of sort of software, there's something like a keyboard maestro or something else that adds this type of functionality if you sort of build it. But it's not, you know, specifically for text expansion, whereas these applications really are. Okay, now we're talking about mind mapping. So mind mapping can get really expensive. You know, there's MindJet's Mind Manager is what I used to use. Really expensive, super awesome though and powerful. I'm an iThoughts, iThoughts X user. Um, currently it's listed for like 50 bucks, but I got it like on a Pi Day sale for roughly like $20. So I would suggest that you wait for like one of those type of sales. But I've also had my eye on MindNode and I know a lot of you are MindNode users out there. It's a $40 application, really powerful. Uh, d definitely iThoughts and MindNode are on the top of their game in terms of consumer level mind, mind mapping and I highly recommend it. Now, if you wanna go full on free, 
There's a web-based version that I was using prior to getting that deal called Mind Maps. Now note this is all browser-based. You're seeing that this is all browser-based. You can add nodes. It's really powerful. I have a demo on it. This one's made by uh, David Richards. So you can add nodes, as you can see. Anyways, it's really powerful. You can save your nodes and download them and things like that. Um, I mean, your mind maps. And it's really great. It's basically JSON. Check out my video to see how it works, but it's free. So you go to mindmaps.app. So that was mind mapping. Now let's look at task management. All right, basically these are the three big dogs in task management, in my opinion, as of, as of this recording. There's OmniFocus, which is releasing OmniFocus 3, if not already. Licensing is, depending on if you're getting a pro license or not, everyone that I know wants the pro license. It's 80 bucks, not cheap. It's the big dog of, if you're into GTD, this is sort of the way to go. They're finally getting tagging, even though everyone else has had it for quite some time. It's a big deal apparently now for OmniFocus. So the thing about OmniFocus too is the iOS app is sold separately. So, I mean, this is, you saw how expensive that was and the iOS app is sold separately. This adds up quite a bit, right? So if you're talking multiple devices, I don't know. This is getting kind of concerning. So Things 3 is everyone's in love with the new dog at Things 3 right now. It's 50 bucks, doesn't include mobile as well. That's an additional cost, really great UI and uh, check it out for yourselves. I am a Todoist user. Uh, I love it, and look at that price. For a premium, it's 29 bucks. There is a free version, $29 a year. That's nothing per month, basically. I would highly recommend it, and that includes every single platform, every device. So there's no buying additional apps or anything like that. Once you have this license, you got it everywhere, even web-based. I don't see how you beat that deal, personally, as of this recording. For mini management, this type of hiding stuff, you see what I'm doing up here? Um, there's the big dog is, well, not the big dog, but sort of what I hear a popular one that a lot of people mention It's bartender three. I've tried it before. Eh, I mean, it works. Okay. Bartender three, uh, it's $15. So there you have it. Check it out. Another alternative that I would suggest is something that I'm using myself. It's called vanilla, right? So it is, and we'll include all the links. It's matthewpalmer.net forward slash vanilla. Uh, vanilla lets you do the same thing, right? Boom. You can download it and it's $5. So $15 or $5. I went the $5 route and there's even a free version too, but you're gonna want Pro. And it works great and go crazy with it. You can drag things and customize it quite a bit. Um, it's a solid, solid uh, alternative to uh, Bartender. Check it out, Vanilla, highly recommended. Now I'm gonna go on to a weird one, doorbells, because I've played with these and I've researched these and I am a Nest camera user, although it's pretty expensive. So the one I'm using currently is Skybell. A lot of people don't know about this. They only seem to know the other two. And so this is Skybell. Uh, there's another version of it. I think Skybell 1, Skybell 2. It's $200 flat. And the beauty of it is, I mean, for me, it was easy to set up. My brother-in-law is an electrician. He set it up great. Uh, although I would even argue that you don't need an electrician to do it, maybe. And it works fantastic. It's been rock solid for me so far. 200 bucks and the great thing, no cloud cost. So all the videos, notifications, everything, it just comes with the price of the hardware, 200 bucks flat. No cloud fees, no cloud fees. I don't know how I can be more explicit about that. No cloud fees. Or if you like to spend money, you can go with Ring. And I should also note that the Skybell, you, I think you can use it with IFT, IFTTT, so you, that you can integrate it with other stuff if you so choose. Everyone knows Ring. Uh, it was purchased by Amazon. I'm tempted because I am a an extensive Amazon Echo user, and I know that they own Ring now. So I imagine there's going to be really good integration with that, and perhaps in the future, cameras around your home for a security option and maybe a more compelling cloud cost type of sell. But as of this recording, I mean, with the Ring, it starts as we see here at ninety nine dollars, but everyone wants the thin two hundred and eleven dollar version. That's a lot, right? Two hundred eleven version plus monthly cloud plans. So let's look at the cloud plans for Ring, right? So as of this recording, this is sort of what you're looking at. 30 bucks a year, three bucks a month, or $100 a year with the $10 a month with the Protect Plus. Pretty good, right? 10 bucks a month, uh, which I guess unlimited cameras, exclusive discounts, extended warranty. That's kind of compelling. I don't know. I'm sort of almost selling myself here now to buy one. Hmm. Nest is Google's product now. So the Nest piece of hardware is $229, right, for their doorbell here. 
and uh, they're kind of new to the market compared to Ring, but it, it works well from what I hear. Uh, let's check out their cloud plan. As of this recording, we're looking at a subscription in three sizes, five day, 10 day, and 30 day. It looks like it's comparable, sort of. Uh, five day, $5 a month, 50 bucks a year, $10 a month, $100 a year, $30 a month with $300 a year. What I don't see here is, does that include unlimited cameras? So that is something you will want to look into. So you guys, I hope this was helpful. Some good uh, subscription software alternatives, some hardware alternatives, some cheaper software alternatives, or some just alternatives to the alternatives. Does that even make sense? I don't know. I am Adolfo Fronda, nerdstalker.com, at nerdstalker on Twitter. Subscribe, and we hope you like what you saw. We'll see you next time. Mind maths. Mindmaps.app. Mindmaps.app. Try to say that five times really fast. Not easy.